Hello, today I will do room network analysis web shell and we will using the tool Wireshark and uh, on the site Blue Team Labs Online. So this is the great lab and you can learn a lot from this lab. And what I recommend you if you want to do this room, use your uh, virtual machine because when you go to the site Blue Team uh, Labs Online, you need to for this challenge you need to download the file but this file is the malicious and you don't want to run this that on your uh, own machine so you're going to download open file and you can run this file the password is blue team level o now we get our the bigger file and uh, we will jump to the questions what is the ip responsible for conducting the port scan activity and if we go to the capture to the statistics conversations and for the port scanning uh, port scanning is using the tcp protocol and we can see here uh, address a is the scanning the address b here are all the ports that uh, address A is scanning. So that means the address A is the attacker and uh, address B is the victim. If I click the port B, I can see this is the first port. If I click the again port B, I can see this is the last port, but uh, this port have the 348 packets. That means this is not a scanned port. That means that is the last port. Yeah, now if we go into what is the IP responsible for conducting the port scan activity, this is the attacker IP. What is port range scanned by the species host? Uh, we already saw this is 1 to 1024. What is the type uh, of port scan conducted? If we go uh, to below down, we can see some uh, some TCP scene traffic. And uh, this is the attacker IP, this is the victim IP, and we already know that is the, the port scan is used sin. One another way, we now know that the uh, attacker IP, we will use that here. And this is all uh, traffic from the attacker IP. We see this, this is the protocol, this is the sin flag and this is the answer this is just another way now moving on the question four two more tools were used to perform recognize against open ports what they what were they so to find uh, the tools we can uh, look to user agent strings which often leave a signature of the tool well, i will show you just to go to the http traffic and now click on the hypertext transfer protocol and we hope so that we find some user agent. Now we have Mozilla. Mozilla is this. It is nothing. So the I would want to through search through all manually. I'll just use user agent moment i will delete this user agent i will delete, delete this all after that now I'm using the victim ip to see what is the scanned and now of course you need to use end end if you want to have a to another command, this is first command, this is second command. Now we will run this command. And now we get some user agents. But uh, with, this is the Mozilla. Mozilla, Mozilla, we can see that first 10 is the Mozilla. After that, we get some go buster you can see here 
it uh, means that the first answer is go buster 3.0.1 3.0.1 after that i know that uh, gubuster is a tool used to brute force urls including directories and files and dns subdomains that means here is the, a lot of traffic i want to see what is the happening of the end of the pickup file i go just to the last packet and i see here that we get some uh, uploads uploads icons edit profile browse php after moving to up 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 to see what is i will uh, say you something in this uh in this uh files here in these pickup files here from here from here i think from here to here it's all answers what you need from uh, this room but i will do that uh normal like the school uh well, like they do in school not just uh do from uh, one command i will use more commands then you get the picture what is used and how it used to be so if i'm going to here user agent mozilla mozilla after that i see user agent sql map i found another one and after that they go and go and get the profile upload that means this is the last command so what is the SQL? SQL automatic inaction tool is used to detect and take advantage of SQL inaction vulnerabilities in web application. So that means that the uh, attacker wants to take uh, our system. So this is the answer for the uh, for the four question. What is now? We are moving on the question five. What is the name of the PHP file through which the attacker uploaded a web shell? when someone send information to a web page it's a true a http post request so now i will use the another command http dot request method equal post it is and i will save this command i already say but i will show you something but how you can save it you just go this and now go to the plus say this is the post okay and you need one for the get plus name is the get and now you have two commands it's easier to navigate so i will run this first i will run this post command no, I just need to click here, not to type. And automatically, that's it. Navigate me to the end of this pickup file. And we see here, this is application, application, application. Nothing interesting. And now we get upload. And the answer is, what is the name of the PHP file through which attacker upload a web shell? If I go to the referrer, I see that is the name is edit profile. Second way, how can I find this? Is to follow TCP stream. Now I should be see the edit image PHP. There is, and here is the PHP exit data. After that. nothing interesting so we have the answer for the first question after that what is the name of the web shell that the attacker uploaded now i will get again again to the post command so i use the first upload php file now i will move to the another upload php file i will follow that as tcp stream and after this i can see here Referrer is the edit profile PHP. So this is the last question. After that, content is portion, forum data, name is file upload, file name dbfunction.php. And that is the answer. What is the parameter used in the web shell for executing comments? 
if we look down hello we see here that is the php some command itself and it says is cmd is request cmd it means this is the parameter what is the first command executed by attacker So now we know the attacker IP and upload file used for a web shell. And uh, if we're using the get request, we can see commands that attacker used in the system. This is very important. Now, if we go and use the get request, we should be see what is the attacker used commands in the system. You can see that it's the uploads, unknown image, db function. This is now uh, nothing interesting. And we can see here, hey, this is CMD. It's the com uh, command is the ID. Second main command is who am, I? who am I? So what is the first command? It's ID. Second command is who am I? Why who am I? When attacker uh, uh, come in the system and take uh, the system, he want to see who is he on that system is he the root user who can do anything he wants or he is the normal user who can do some tasks but uh, he don't have some uh, commands or here is the some another user who can get can uh, do anything so that uh, he wants to know who is he after that we getting the question uh, what is the type of shell connection the attacker obtains through command execution and what is the port he used for the shell connection we will scroll down to see what is the commands that he used after that we use some HTTP traffic and after that we get uploads and we see here that is some Python script follow TCP stream and now if you do some red stuff attacking some machines you will immediately recognize this shell this is the python shell with port 4422 and this is the answer and you will know this is the reverse shell and you, if you see here is the bin sh bin sh that means this is the reverse shell and uh, this is the final answer and that will be all for this room. And uh, thank you all for the watching. Bye.